this is a really quick video um, about spawn locations. So when you start a game, typically you are um, dropped into a specific point in the game. Or if you've played the game, you might have hit some checkpoints, uh, which would, if you died um, and came back to life and respawned, you might respawn in a different place than other a place other than the starting point. So uh, the way that you actually add a spawn point, uh, well, there'll be a few ways, but this is the initial way you might want to add a spawn point. There's actually two. One is you can go up to this little um, camera eye looking thing and you can click on it um, but i'm actually going to show you a second way to do it and that is if i go to my workspace which we talked about in the last video and i right click on the workspace uh, on the workspace object there i will actually see an option to insert an object and if you look in the long list of objects there's a lot of them uh, one is spawn location and just to know that these are listed in alphabetical order, so you should find it um, pretty quickly because of that. So spawn location is what I want. I click it and voila, there is my spawn location. So now when I actually start the game, uh, my user will be dropped onto this specific spawn location. You can see spawn locations have some uh, properties associated with them. I can actually give it a name um, or rename it. I'll just make this a little bigger so you can see. Um, I can rename it. I can actually give it material and color and all of that stuff, which we will talk about in a later episode. Um, and I can anchor my spawn location as well, which we will talk about in a later episode. Um, other things that uh, are relevant are th this concept of teams, um, which again, we'll get to in a later episode, but will become very, very important to understand uh, if you want to have different levels in your game. So that's it. That's all there is about spawn locations for now, and uh, hopefully this helps you get started.